Imagine diving into the calm, clear ocean. No waves, no noise. But beneath, something stirs, something ancient and deadly. Not a shark, not a whale. A creature far older, far smarter, far more ruthless. It didn't just survive, it ruled. It wasn't hunger that drove it, but domination. Its name, the Mosasaurus. And if you think you've heard this story before, think again. Because what you're about to discover will redefine your understanding of terror in the deep. Long ago, the ocean wasn't a sanctuary. Entering its waters meant stepping into the hunting ground of unseen killers. Within moments, the food chain was reversed. The tranquil surface hid a realm where death lurked in every shadow. And among all the monstrous beings that roamed these depths, one reigned supreme, the Mosasaurus. It didn't hunt for food, it hunted for dominance. It didn't prowl, it patrolled. Unlike other predators like Pliosaurus or early sharks, it didn't rely on brute force alone. It had strategy, precision, terrifying intelligence. In a world where only the deadliest survived, it wasn't just a survivor. It was the ocean's final word. Back then, the ocean wasn't teeming with life. It was soaked in death. And while the sea hosted many predators, there was always a silent, merciless hierarchy. The top wasn't for the biggest nor the fastest. It was reserved for the one that mastered all aspects of the hunt. The Cretaceous Seas were evolutionary workshops crafting killers. Only two fates awaited the creatures below. Become faster, smarter, more efficient, or perish. The Mosasaurus was the result of millions of years of refining death. It measured over 17 meters, longer than a city bus. Its body resembled a mix of sea serpent and crocodile, designed not to swim, but to launch. Its powerful, thinned tail functioned like a living torpedo. Its jaws, built to crush. Its teeth, hooked backward, locking prey inside. But its weapons weren't just physical. It possessed keen binocular vision for striking with chilling precision. It sensed vibration in the water, perhaps even detecting electrical signals from beating hearts. In the deep, where light fades, it became a master of shadows. What made the Mosasaurus truly terrifying wasn't its size, it was its silence. It didn't charge blindly, it stalked, calculated, waited. It used the ocean as a cloak, its shadows as weapons. In regions where no sunlight reached, the Mosasaurus waited like a phantom. When it struck, it was a blur of violence. It didn't chase, it ambushed. From below, from angles no prey could predict. One snap of its jaws and it was over before the victim realized it was even being hunted. Fossil evidence reveals its legacy. Turtle shells broken, shark spines shattered, bones with bite marks so deep only one creature could have done it. Other mosasaurs weren't safe either. Cannibalism wasn't off the table. Its neck could twist with incredible agility, giving it an edge over slower giants. Its skin, thick yet flexible, protected it in battle without reducing its speed. And its eyes, cold, calculating, unblinking. This was not a creature of impulse. It was a strategist, a ghost beneath the waves. The Mosasaurus didn't just hunt prey, it reprogrammed nature. Where it moved, life retreated. Schools of fish changed routes. Other predators avoided regions he claimed. The sea became divided into two, places where the Mosasaurus existed and places where it didn't. In fossil layers, we find sudden drops in smaller species populations corresponding with Mosasaurus activity. This wasn't a coincidence. It was suppression through fear. Entire ecosystems collapsed, not from famine, but from over-predation. Species evolved defenses just to avoid detection, camouflage, speed bursts, and tighter schooling. Evolution took shortcuts driven by survival panic. Even apex predators like sharks and pliosaurus adapted their behaviors. Its presence was a force of nature, like a storm that never passed. It didn't dominate through numbers, 
It did so through effect. Just knowing it might be near was enough to send tremors through the marine web of life. Then came the silence. Not a scream, not a final roar, just absence. 66 million years ago, a space rock the size of a mountain struck Earth. The skies darkened, the world froze, the oceans turned hostile, and even the king of the sea could not survive on a planet that stopped feeding him. Phytoplankton died, oxygen dropped, currents shifted. In the silence of starvation, even the mightiest predator faded. The Mosasaurus didn't fall to an enemy. It fell to time, to fate, to the indifference of Earth's cycles. Its body sank without witnesses. No creature watched it die. But its bones endured. And when unearthed millions of years later, they told the story of a ruler dethroned not by violence, but by a quiet, unstoppable ending. The Mosasaurus vanished, but its legacy lingers, in bones, in stone, in the silence of the sea. Evolution remembers, and maybe the ocean does too. Because if something so perfect once existed, who's to say it can't again? Perhaps in the depths where light never reaches, something still waits, a heartbeat in the dark, a shadow that never fully faded. The sea doesn't forget. It watches.